This is a WNBD NBC 33 News Brief. Good morning, everybody. I'm Chris Tatum with your NBC Region 33 News Brief. We'll start in Sharkey County. Investigators there hope you can help them identify a man. They say burglarized a bank. This is surveillance video from inside the bank of Angley in Cary. Investigators say this man disabled the alarm, then broke in through the front door. And once inside, they say the burglar tried to open the safe but couldn't. And all they say he spent about 15 minutes inside the bank but left empty handed. If you recognize the man in this video or if you know anything about this burglary, Sharkey County Crime Stoppers hope you'll call the number 662 873 2652. Well, a Delta teenager is lucky to be alive this morning after a train slammed into his four wheeler. Yazoo police say a 17 year old had stopped his ATV on a railroad track around 5 o'clock Thursday afternoon. As a train approached, he shifted into what he thought was drive to get off those tracks, but investigators say he actually went in reverse and that the train slammed into the back of his four-wheeler. They say the impact tossed that teen about 15 feet into the air and that he hit the ground hard. He is this morning recovering at University of Mississippi Medical Center in Jackson. No word, though, this morning on his condition. Well, one Delta man had a lot to be grateful for over the Easter weekend. Check out this video of a horrific car crash. That is Wayne Shilmk's car stuck underneath that 18-wheeler. That wreck happened on Highway 82 near Indianola at about 8 o'clock on Thursday night. Investigators say Shilmkas was driving east on 82 when he slammed into that semi. They say the semi was actually turning into the Dollar General Distribution Center in uh, Indianola. Now, after Shumkus hit that 18 wheeler, investigators say his car got stuck underneath it and that the truck dragged it and even flipped it over. A crew airlifted him to Delta Regional Medical Center. As frightening as that crash looks in those pictures, Shumkus, get this, only suffered moderate injuries. Well, a Delta church went above and beyond on Good Friday to show people what Good Friday really represents. You might have seen this man walking along Highway 82 in Greenville. He carried his cross as part of the third annual Good Friday Walk, sponsored by Greenville's Emmanuel Baptist Church. You can bet a lot of people did double takes as they drove along 82 and spotted him. Make everything just stop for a second and uh, gives an opportunity for, I can just see now the kids are, are in the back seat and I want to know, Bob, what's going on there. And uh, so it gives her an opportunity to, to, to share what, what, Jesus, what, what Jesus is all about and bring awareness to the holiday. Emmanuel Baptist Church leaders are already thinking about how to have an even better Good Friday walk next year. That is your NBC Region 33 News Brief for this Monday morning. I'm Chris Tatum. Have a great day, everybody. This is a WNBD NBC 33 News Brief.